this is Srinivas Garimala, Chairman of uh, Industrial Development Committee at uh, the Federation of Telangana Chambers of Commerce and Industry. I'm an also now entrepreneur in the area of manufacturing of uh, engineering capital goods. We expect that the budget will be growth-oriented by spending in uh, infrastructure, healthcare, education, and the government will also boost uh, the private sector growth and uh, encourage manufacturing so that more jobs are created. And we also expect that uh, the FM give more money in the common man's hands to encourage spending and consumption in uh, FMCG goods sector. In terms of boost for manufacturing, we hope and expect that the PLI scheme, which is now covering uh, 13 sectors, will also be covering more sectors, and this will make the manufacturing industry get a boost. Also, we last uh, four years, we had something called a 115 BAB, wherein uh, the income tax was rebated at 15% for new manufacturing companies who start uh, their operations between 2019 and 24. We hope uh, that the FM would extend the scheme for another five years. Similarly, Gati Shakti policy of uh, the government of India was a very good one, and we expect that the infrastructure spending will continue, and perhaps there will be more allocation to NEP under that uh, scheme so that the execution of projects becomes faster. This will give a boost for manufacturing. In terms of consumer spending and having more money in the hands of common man, the common man, uh, you know, expects that there will be an uh, increase in the ATC bracket and also income tax lab rates will have a revision. Considering that global recessionary trends will, of course, isolate India from such trends, but consumer spending needs to be boosted so that uh, we have the FMCG growth also coming in this year. And this can only happen uh, by having more money in the common man's hands. Similarly, in terms of ease of doing business and promoting industry growth, we expect, we hope that there'll be a racialization of the tax structure. And uh, we also expect new policies to support and promote technology adoption and development, which is going at a fast pace, but we want it to be a little more faster and then we should also cover the MSMEs. We also want, uh, you know, tax holidays for companies in green environment, climate change sectors, because that will be, that is what the world is looking at. And I think India should take the lead in doing that. We also want, uh, the FM has been talking about it, we also want the finance minister to simplify and rationalize the long-term capital gains and assets. And finally, what I feel is startups have been a major growth driver for India the last few years, but they're in a danger of survival this year. We require some policy redressal and easing in agri-fintech industries policies so that they also can survive and do well in the coming years.